Hi, my name is Chris White with Course in Fire and Security. I'm going to talk about clean agent fire suppression systems for you today. We're at the Course in Fire and Security hands-on area for uh, fire suppression systems. One of the first systems we want to talk about out of the three that we have for our technicians is inert, or better known as uh, energy. So right here we have our cylinders, so we actually have four training purposes. This is an energy system, like I said, it's an inert. The way the inerts, most inerts work is right now we're breathing 20, 20 21% oxygen content. So the inerts on class A fires, when they suppress, will actually suppress the fire below 14%. Class A fires can't sustain themselves. You'll see these type of systems in server rooms, data rooms, telecommunication rooms, and you know, those various type of high value asset type rooms for facilities. So the other type of clean agent we're going to speak of today is an FM200. It's a heptafluoropropane. It actually suppresses by 20% oxygen depletion, 80% chemical reaction. So the third clean agent we're going to speak of is Novak 1230, or in some instances maybe Sapphire or Cinerex. It's a fluoroketone. It actually discharges as a gas and will actually suppress, uh, absorb the heat faster than the fire can produce it. That's how it suppresses the fire. So we've talked about three different types of clean agent systems. We talked about an inert, or in this case, the energy systems. Because of the pressure, it's stored as a gas and it discharges as a gas. Again, because of the pressure, it can actually be uh, a little bit further away from the protected enclosure, whereas your FM200, um, it's stored as a liquid and it discharges as a gas, but because of the pressure, it needs to be relatively close to the protected uh, area. Your Novak 1230, again, it's stored as a liquid, discharges as a gas, and again, because of the pressure, it needs to be relatively close to the enclosure itself. One key component about all these clean agent systems, and it's really important with FM200 and Novak 1230, is enclosure integrity. Once the system discharges as a gas, we're trying to keep the agent in there until emergency responding personnel can determine exactly what these actions need to be taken.